<clears throat> one of the challenges that we, we've seen is systems and companies that have been built up over years, yeah? So a company that maybe existed 20 years ago, they've got an IT footprint. If you ever see a hospital, yeah? Hospitals have been around for many, many years. And, you know, Victorian times all the way to modern times. And you walk around a the hospital, there's all these different pieces, there's all these different rooms and buildings all plumbed together with heating systems and everything. And it works, but it wasn't designed from the scratch. And a lot of companies right now are facing that challenge of, I think there's talk about a tech def, um, a deficit. And, and that, that affects security because what happens is, you know, you've got all these um, legacy systems or things that have been built upon. And it really, really um, makes it difficult to secure them because you lose people that understand those technologies and also a lot of IT uh, sort of teams uh, are really stretched on time anyway especially with the pandemic of getting things access re you know remotely right. and stuff like that so what's happened is a mixture of that plus the pandemic causing this remote working has forced companies to adapt faster than they probably would have liked to 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 move to cloud platforms to enable remote working whilst they're sat on a tech deficit and, and and not just a tech deficit, but also kind of even newer companies, you know, that weren't geared up to work remotely. They're just having to make things work as quickly as possible. I think mm. in March, you know, you couldn't buy a laptop for £2,000. The, the, the whole channel sold out of laptops. And so people were dusting off their personal laptops and bringing those in. So a lack of being able to move quickly into remote working, which is a project I think a lot of companies would have spent maybe a few years working towards. So that for me has been one of the biggest challenges and what we have seen in the last particularly three months is where companies are starting to get hit now because they got up and running which had to happen but now mm. the, the malicious actors the entities they're targeting them they're targeting these users they're targeting these systems and there's a lot of IT teams out there you know fighting the good fight and really struggling to keep up with them because you're fighting against an adversary that's basically mm. been preparing for the last however many years and they're coming at you when you're you know in a sort of bit of a disarray just trying to keep your company working.